Well, hello, my YouTube friend. Today, it is my pleasure to present you this beautiful knife from Mr. Alan Elishowitz. It is, as most of my video, long overused because, you know, this Instagram thing uh, is really time consuming. So, <laughs> as I'm not a professional, uh, you know, I do things as I have time, actually. And this uh, was actually the last minute video because this knife will go to a new home today. Uh, it will travel to the United States of America to join Mr. Uh, why would I say his name? Nem. <laughs> Maybe he wants to keep some privacy. So yeah, it will travel to uh, United States to meet his new owner. Uh, that, that's an excellent knife, as usual, as you can expect with uh, with Alan Elishowitz. So we're going to talk a little bit about this knife, describe it, because uh, uh, the new owner wanted me to make uh, uh, some uh, kind of pictures for him before getting the knife. And I thought that probably a video on YouTube, as I know he loves them, would be probably a better way to show him this beauty that will join his new collection. So what do we have here? We have first a hide, which is the last of the hides of Mr. Allen Ishowitz, because Allen decided to stop, simply stop, that model. Uh, so, not only it is rare because it's a flipper, as usual, the hides are thumb opening, so it's uh, the latest of the latest of the hide, and it's a flipper. So yeah, mister, you're gonna have uh, some rare uh, cookie in hand whenever you get it. So the hide is kind of uh, a bizarre, when you look at it, I mean, a bizarre shape, but you know, uh, Allen has been in the military, and all his knife has done uh, with a design on purpose. And I strongly suggest that you check his video about actually the shape of this hide. Uh, so I'm not going to waste your time. I I'd rather link you to the master himself. Uh, and he's speaking exactly of the purpose of this shape here, of the double hollow grind that you have here. Uh, it's not only a way to express your art, because doing double hollow grind is kind of difficult, but it has a, a, a tactical purpose. Uh, and uh, you know that uh, this company that now I forgot the name, actually, it does, you know, the handle for uh, for guns or a, a very nice company that they, they do collaboration with uh, Alan Lishowitz. You know, as always, I don't prepare my videos, so so I'm sorry about that, but uh, it will I will probably remind, uh, remember that during the video. So this company that made uh, the collaboration with Alan Lishowitz, uh, they did the hide, actually, uh, and they did also the, the, the Jekyll, if I remember correctly. Uh, so... They and he was actually presenting uh, this blade shape for uh, when they released uh, this collaboration with uh, this production brand uh, that I don't remember. I'm sorry, uh, the, the name. I will make the the correction in the comment below. So yeah, the hide uh, has a very strange and weird uh, shape, but it's done with a real purpose. Now. Without even hearing uh, uh, the, the explanation of the master, you can see that it has a lot of a big belly here. So for slicing uh, uh, purposes, it's very, very nice. Here, the tip is very strong. So you can imagine that for trusting, it's also a very, very uh, a powerful uh, knife. I wouldn't go as far as to pry with it, but I, I'm pretty sure it could take it. But as usual, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> I would say it, it's a desk knife. It's a, You can use it for sure. And it's done for that, and it's a very strong knife. But, uh, you know, each knife should have its purpose. And this one, at the very at the maximum, you should use it for EDC, no more than that. Uh, but it could take a lot of things, actually. And it could be tactical, most, most definitely. So, yeah, very nice hand rub, as usual, with Allen. This is my filthy fingers. Uh, but I can tell you that the... the I'm sorry, the, the hand rub is absolutely excellent, very delicately done. The the edge is very nice. The the steel is Carpenter Steel CTS uh, XHP. You know what? Uh, the grind is just splendid, but as usual, nothing can be perfect. If you look at it closely here, you see, you know, I'm I'm gonna try to come on, I'm sorry about that. Wah. Okay, look at look at that here. You see, if you look at the right part and at the left part that it's not really even, you know, uh, you can tell. 
You absolutely can tell when you look at that. That's the only, I would say, I, would, I wouldn't say complain because, uh, you know, uh, that's pure custom uh, and, uh, and they, they, they have some minor flaws. Every single uh, custom should have some flaws. Uh, it's not a problem. They're minor and uh, they, they don't spoil the, the, the overall quality of the knife. So as usual, he does this beautiful um, orange peel finish on the spine that you have here. You find the same orange peel finish on the titanium, actually, because this is steel and that's titanium. And if you look at it, if you look at it closely, you can tell that the orange peel here and here are the same. And that's a gr great achievement, actually. So yeah, liners are uh, titanium, orange peel. I just love the standoff there. Uh, probably overbuilt with four of them. Uh, I'm not sure that it's useful, but actually they're so cute, so nice, that I love uh, that he put uh, those standoffs. You know, it's not regular your regular standoffs. You know, he, he works and he customized even the standoffs here. Uh, jimping here uh, absolutely no use for that jimping because if, even if you use it reverse you might want to have the jimping here but you know uh, it's just beautiful so i like it to be here uh, yeah no, no no tactical use but as for the jimping on the blade man is that a great great jimping look at that i mean it works the the, the curve that you have here uh fits perfectly well your thumb and i'm telling you that if you want to do some 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 nice cutting task with the guard that secured your index here and this jimping man is that a secure knife and the handle is as usual with those curve uh curve line on the handle as usual it makes for a very very nice grip uh very ergonomic look at that it's a it's a big knife uh, uh I'm not talking about the specs as usual but it's a four inch blade uh overall i think it's something like nine, just a little bit over nine, probably inch uh, overall length. Uh, but the handle for a large hand like mine is just splendid. And as I said, the guard works perfectly well with the flipper and the jimping here is just excellent. One of the best jimping you can find here. And I like the fact that you have this, you know, like black uh, finish uh, between the, 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 the between the jimping here. So that's just an excellent uh, finish uh, and very, very effective, as I said. Uh, here, all, 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 as always, the medallion, the gold medallion, 14 karat gold medallion as a signature, which is something that I just absolutely, absolutely adore. That's very classy, as Mr. Elishowitz is. So now let's go to the handle. The handle has a very nice carbon fiber uh, with some kind of, you know, like curved layers like that. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't never seen a carbon fiber like that, uh, and it, it gives you know it's it's plain, but uh, no, it's not texture. I wouldn't say it's, it's texture, but very nice with, with some sparkles here. I just just like this carbon fiber. I don't know where uh, Alan found it, but very very nice carbon fiber. The same on the other side. And of course, you have those incredible bolsters that are. Either Time Mascus or Mokutai, I don't care. I mean, it's just a matter of who makes it. But uh, yeah, Mokutai, Time Mascus, whatever. Uh, I just, just love that. I think that's the first time that I see that. You know, he, he made this kind of uh, raw finish here and you still find the colors inside. And here, very nice and plain and some, some nice purple and, and bronze. A mix of colors that you don't find that often, you know. Uh, I don't know how he gets that. He's one of the the few to bring some coloring like that that you you're not really used uh, to see on other uh, with other makers. So so yeah, absolutely excellent bolster. And for once, <laughs> because usually you know uh, Alan he, he doesn't care a lot about the junction. And on this one, I can tell you that it's it's not seamless. But it's the closest thing to, to a seamless junction. Uh, so for this one, yeah, he, he put some attention on that. Um, we, it's not a critique, but I think that he doesn't care uh, about th those kind of facts when he does a knife. But on this one, actually, you have a very nice and seamless junction, which is something that I adore. As usual, the, 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 the custom hardware that I absolutely love, love, love that. That he puts the, the, the custom pivot, custom hardware here. 
of course, uh, it would be hard to disassemble, but I, I don't recommend that you disassemble a knife from Mr. Elishowitz, even for maintenance. Uh, you know, it's open a knife, you can do the maintenance here, but if you want to open it, just send it to Allen. I think it's always better, you know, when the maker do, uh, not the maintenance, but at the very least, uh, to open a knife like that, man, uh, yeah, just send it to Allen. I think it's better. Just wash it, clean it, uh, and uh, that's it. End of the story. That's my actually my advice. But uh, I mean, <laughs> anyone do whatever they want with their knives. Uh, but I know that Alan doesn't like when somebody you know messes with his knives. So let's talk about the clip. Wire clip, probably one of my favorite clip in the world. That's just an excellent clip. It's not uh, 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 you know too protrusive. Uh, I, I like, love wire clip. I love when Spyderco does that. And I wish that a lot of makers use those clips. They're just excellent. And I just, just like the fact that he put this wire with those kind of standoffs here. Uh, yeah, whenever he does those clips, that, that's my favorite clip from Allen. Uh, by far, by far, by far. Uh, very elegant and very uh, effective and very functional too, uh, which is their purpose actually. So what do we have to say? Yeah, of course, the engagement, as you can expect, is just brilliant. Some jimping here for uh, the liner, for the lock. Uh, it's uh, very strong. I mean, no movement whatsoever, front to front, side to side. It's a rock, rock solid knife. Um, what more can I say? The action as a flipper is splendid. Look at that. Boom. No jimping here, but we talked about that already. I think I, I mentioned that. There is no need to put some jimping on a flipper whenever it's well done. And for me, a flipper tab should be like that even with the pivot or up the pivot, but with this orientation. This way you cannot miss, if you light switch it, you cannot miss a flipping. Of course, if it's, you know, perpendicular like that, or even looking down, which is silly, uh, <laughs> you can, you, it can be slippery, but like that, you cannot miss it. So, and, and, and it's better because as, uh, uh, as the guard, it's better this way than to have it straight here or looking forward there. So I don't understand why makers would do anything different than that. So no need for jimping when you have a flipper like that. So the action is just excellent. Uh, no uh, stickness whatsoever. And the detent, you can hear it, it's sucked inside. Boom! And it will stay inside forever. So yeah, as I said, overall, this knife is just brilliantly done, as you can expect from one of the master's master, because Allen is one of the master's master. He's been doing knives for, for decades now, and you can tell uh, by every knife that I held from him in hand, they're just excellent, excellent. Uh, I love his little touches there, here and there. And the fact that, you know, when you have an initial weight in hand, you can tell it's an initial weight and you can tell that you're going to have a great knife. Absolutely no doubt uh, about that. So, yeah, I don't know why I said it, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, you know, in order to to have a lot of knives, uh, one need to make some turnover. And that's what I do, actually. Uh, sometimes with regrets, and I'm pretty sure that I will regret this, but the fact that it will go to a nice home will make it up for me. So, unless I forgot something, I think that I told you about... Uh, not everything, actually, because uh, uh, I couldn't say everything, but I mentioned everything that I wanted about this knife, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will try my best to uh, do a little bit more videos on YouTube. Uh, yeah, one mention probably that I haven't said, that it's a, 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 an external stop in here, and... Uh, this is how I like it. You know, usually, you know, uh, some makers, they will go for internal stop pin because of the flipper tab. But if you if you take this position of the flipper and you put your stop pin here on the top, that works perfectly well. And you, this way you can have an external stop pin. Of course, you cannot put it here because of the flipper tab. But putting the, the, the external stop pin here uh, allows you to put your flipper tab whenever you want, you see? So that's, I, I like the, the fact uh, I like to put the, the, the stop in here. Uh, I think it's the best way for, uh, for a flipper. This way, as I said, you can have it external, not have the problem that uh, you can get 
with the internal stopping. And on that point, I will stop my ramblings and I will catch you very soon for a new video. Bye bye, my friend and Mr. Whoever will get it. Enjoy.